everybody, David here from Team Ultra Instinct bringing you the new Series 10 Green Reveals. Uh, we're just going to dive right into this. We have the starter decks and the main set stuff uh, pulled up for you. So right now we're just going to go into the starter, or, um, the main set. And we have Sun Goku, the new green leader. He is a burst 3 when this card attacks, draw a card. So that's very basic. Burst 3, which is a little hefty but uh, it has some strategies that you could utilize with that. So maybe we'll see something out of that that's not that bad about the burst three. Uh, when one of your battle cards is KO'd, you may flip this card over. If you do, draw one card and then switch up to one of your energy to active mode. So you can awaken at eight life, potentially. Uh, if you have a Krillin blocker or something like that and they attack and you just block and it gets KO'd, you can immediately just flip over and you're already eight life awakened. It's technically not an awakening, but it's basically awakening. Uh, the awaken is at four or less light. Uh, you can draw two cards and flip it over. So that's a standard one. I'd I'd honestly prefer the draw one on tap one compared to the draw two. Um, I don't know. That's just me. Uh, the awaken side, place two cards from your life in the drop area, then choose all your battle cards, or choose all of your battle cards, and then your opponent's battle cards, ignoring barrier, and place them in the drop area. So it can affect both players. Cool little interaction with this is you can have the Khalifla battle card on the field, and I believe you don't have to place any of your cards in the drop area, uh, opposed to your opponent still having to place cards in their drop area. So that's a little nice little thing that you could potentially do there. I mean, you'd still have to take a life for playing her, but maybe you find a way to negate her skills on the play. I don't know. I thought that was a little cool combo you can do, or do but uh, he's got some strategies with the new cards that are out. We'll get to that once we get there, but it's pretty neat. I like him so far. Uh, the Ginyu leader is a little interesting. I don't know how they're going to rule his auto exactly, but when he attacks, you reveal the top card. If it's a green Ginyu Force with an energy cost of 2, you can play it, uh, and then you draw one card. So I'm wondering that if you reveal that card, whether it's a green Ginyu Force or not, uh, if you have to shuffle your deck like Obuni when you do his effect to reveal your opponent's top card of their deck, I don't know if they're going to do that or if they're just going to keep it on top if it's not, or if you do end up playing it, if you have to shuffle, I don't know. Um, we'll see on that. I've been wondering about that ruling. Um, his Awakening is a little interesting, too. Uh, if your life is at four or less, or you have four or more Ginyu Force in play, uh, you can draw two cards and flip them over. So, standard draw two leader. I was kind of hoping he'd also be an Awakening that would do uh, untap one, draw one, or untap two. Um, this side, essentially the same thing in the auto. And then his Activate Battle. So Activate Battle, that's nice. Choose one green Ginyu Force card in your battle area, and it gets 10k power for the battle. So not bad. Just a 10k for the leader effect. And that could be during either turn. So that's really nice. Uh, we talked about this Bardock, so I'm not going to go into him this video, but I do like him. Uh, the new Frieza, I'm kind of interested in. I don't know how much I like him, but I, I do like him still. I just don't know where I rate him personally. But activate main, draw one card, then choose one card in your hand. Place it on top of your deck and he gains crit. I like that he gains crit, so that's always nice. Activate main. Until the end of your opponent's next turn, your opponent can't attack with battle cards unless they choose one of their battle cards with an energy cost of two or more and place it in the owner's drop area. See, that's nice. That's why I'm like leaning towards liking this card a lot. But at the same time, it's like, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of outs to it, sure. You can have free yeah, free play uh, blockers. Of course, that's tied into certain decks, but still, I don't know how I feel about this. It's it's still good, it's just I don't know how impactful he's actually going to be. Uh, Demigra is interesting. If this card would lose a marker from an opponent's attack, you may add one card from your life instead. So it makes your opponents a little reluctant to attack Demigra, but at the same time, they may want to. I don't know. Um, I personally do like this card. I mean, this card gains 10k power for the turn for his activate main. Uh, the other activate main, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards. KO it, then choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards with an energy cost of 3 or less, ignoring barrier, and KO it. So you can KO two things. Um, he's interesting. I like him, but I don't know how impactful he's going to be, honestly. It, he may be really impactful. He may not be at all. I mean, of course, if you don't want to be taking damage, or if you're taking damage to a certain point and they keep attacking him, you could essentially just be like, you know what, I took the amount of life I wanted to take, you can have him. Um, but maybe we'll see him played a lot, maybe we won't. I like him, but like I said, I don't know how impactful he's going to be. Uh, I actually just really like the Goku art in this. Uh, Super Saiyan Son Goku, Pride of the Saiyans, he's uh, rare this set, 
Uh, this card can't be removed from battle areas by skills. That's nice. Double strike 25k. If there is a Sun Goku card with an energy cost of 4 under this card and this card is in rest mode, when your opponent plays a battle card with an energy cost of 5 or less, they choose 2 cards in their hand and discard them. So, taxes your opponent if they want to play anything with an energy cost of 5 or less. That's nice. Uh, when this card is played, choose all your opponent's battle cards, ignoring barrier and KO them. So he's he's a board white, that, which is really nice, honestly. Um, sucks that he's five specified, but you know what? That's that's okay. They're just trying to make him a little taxing. Uh, this is the Goku that actually goes into him. He's an activate main, activate battle with deflect and barrier. Also a 20k. Um, he is four specified uh, green, which a little taxing, like I said about the five specified. But hey, it, you're getting out a pretty strong play. Uh, if your leader card is green, Sun Goku card, you send a total of five green, uh, Sun Gohan, Vegeta, Bulma, Krillin, and or Piccolo. So I guess it doesn't exactly have to be five including each one of those, but just five of them have to be those characters. Which, I, at first I thought it was each one of those, but now that I reread it, I got that. But they go from the drop to the warp. Uh, choose up to one of your yeah you, you basically look for that Goku or any other uh, green mono green Sun Gokus with an energy cost of five from your deck or hand and then you play it on top of him and I don't uh, he doesn't go into active mode I don't believe no he does not go into active mode that sucks but hey they don't want to make him too good uh, this card has unique and blocker it's a Sun Gohan if your leader card is green and you have a green unison card with a specified cost of two in play you can play this card from your hand without paying its energy cost that's a great combo right there with the Bardock in my opinion just play him out KO him or attack with him on some little dinky guy and then KO him make him discard a card hey I don't know little combos I've been thinking of I want to make that Bardock work and it's Gohan and I like using Gohan uh, new super combo right here Vegeta the Lone Prince uh, he can't be played from any area with skills. And if your leader card is green and your life is at 4 or less, you draw a card, standard super combo part there. If your leader card is mono green, when this card is played, your opponent chooses one card in their hand and discards it. So I think that's a little interesting. Uh, I guess if you want to go outside the realm of using him as a super combo, you can KO him with a Bardock in the same turn that you play him. But other than that, I don't know, maybe you do that, just combo him off. Uh, I don't know. I don't really like the fact that I have to play my super combos because that can mean they could just easily get KO'd. So that's a little bit of a drawback on my part. I don't know how you guys feel about it, but that's just how I feel. If your leader card is a green Sun Goku card, when this card is played, choose one. Draw one card. This card gets 10k power of the turn. Uh, the draw one card's pretty effectful. I, I do like it. But um, yeah. Uh, and then we have Krillin here. Uh, during your opponent's turn, if your leader card is a. Uh, green Sun Goku card and your life is at 4 or less. So he gets increased to 4 if your life is at 4 or less. Uh, when this card is played, choose 1. So you can either look at the top 5 for a unison card uh, and add it to your hand, or he can gain blocker if you want to do that. So not bad. Uh, you can also target him with the uh, Bardock unison, so that's nice too. Just a little combo. Play him, look for the Bardock, get the Bardock, play him Bardock the next turn, KO that Krillin. Uh, Bulma, I do like this Bulma. It's, she's just a standard cantrip. Uh, you look at the top five cards of your deck, add up to one green unison card with a specified cost of two, or one green sand card with an energy cost of three or less among them, and add it to your hand. Um, that's also another target for Bardock, so they got a lot of Bardock targets this set, so just choose that, KO it, make them discard a card. New Frieza, when this card is played, choose one. Choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards, KO it, or remove a marker. Uh, that's interesting because this Frieza can be played in many ways. It can be played by the new Frieza that's actually right here. Uh, this one also is a 20k dual attack that I should be pointing out. Um, he can be played through this Frieza. He can be played through uh, the yellow Wish Leaders where you do the Revival of the Emperor or whatever that card's name is. Play the Frieza from the drop area. Um, I don't know I don't know how great this card's going to be, but I do like it. Um, this Frieza plays an energy cost of 4. Or he'll choose one green Frieza with an energy cost of 4 from your hand or drop area and play it on top of this card in active mode. Nice that he does it in active mode. But if he gets removed by a skill, draw two cards. So, I like that. I like that little combo right there. Uh, 20k Frieza, that's vanilla. I just love the art on this card. I, I like second form Frieza a lot. Uh, I actually really like the art on this card, though. I want to see a final form Frieza that's very similar to this in art-wise. But, uh, yeah. So, this is a counterplay. You can play this card from your hand, but you can't play any counterplays for the rest of the turn. Uh, yeah, except for this guy. Uh, when you have a green unison card. So if you have a green unison card with two or more counters on it, or markers on it, you can play him for free, which is actually insane in my opinion. He's only a 10k, but he could be used for 
uh, a successor, uh, just killing anything. The fact that his auto is when this card is played, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards, and then energy costs a seven or less and KO it. Sure, it doesn't ignore barrier, but still, it's a free play. That's actually insane. Uh, I can see this card being played a lot. How much, I don't know, but I can see it being a staple for any unison deck, that or green unison deck. Um, yeah, that card's actually nuts, in my opinion. Uh, Ginyu, Backbone of the Force. Uh, <laughs> backbone of the Force. I would have thought it would say the of the Ginyu Force, but no. So you can play this card for free if you have a Raccoon, Jace, Birder, and Guldo in play. So you have to have each one of the Ginyu Forces except for Ginyu in play. Uh, when this card is played, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards. Gain control of it. If you gain control of a card, give control of this card to your opponent. So ideally, y you want to be stealing something that's worthwhile of stealing because he can choose literally anything except for cards with barrier. That's pretty strong. Uh, granted, yeah, you have to have, for the free play, you have to have one of each Ginyu Force member, but that's okay. Um, Ginyu the Body Snatcher, this card gains minus 10k, or it gets minus 10k power during your opponent's turn, so uh, that's okay. Uh, activate main, choose one battle card you gain control of. Uh, your opponent is plays and played on top of this card and owner's drop area. Okay. I don't know why I said on top of this card. Play this card from your hand. So basically you get rid of uh, one of your opponent's battle cards that you gain control of, and then you just play them. So 20k double strike for free, potentially. If your leader card is green, Ginyu Force. When this card is played, choose all green Ginyu Force cards in your battle area, and they gain 10k power for the turn. So we've had, what, three Ginyus that do this now, one in yellow, one in red, and now one in green. Interesting that they keep doing that, but hey, they're showing a theme with the Ginyu Force that one of them's always going to buff up all the Ginyu Force members by 10k. Um... Raccoon the Muscle Head. He has Unique. If your leader card is a green Ginyu Force card, when this card is played... Oh, not green. When your leader card is a Ginyu Force card, and then the bottom part is when this card is played, choose up to one green Ginyu Force card with an energy cost two or less in your hand and play it. So, nice that you can do that off the Ginyu leader. Um, I could see this deck being a little bit of a fun rogue deck out there. I don't know how great it's going to be, but I think it'll be interesting to see. Uh, this also has Unique. I think all the green ones have Unique. Uh, in terms of the Ginyu Force members. When this card attacks, look it up to three cards from the top of your deck, add up to one Ginyu Force card among them, add it to your hand, you can place the top or the remaining cards on top or bottom of your deck in any order. That's actually insane that it's on top or bottom. So you can fish for what you need with this guy. Um, you don't even need to be playing guys off of what you're finding. You can just have him for the combo power and just get value every turn with him. Um, Birder, fastest in the universe, unique blocker at the end of your turn, switch this card to active mode. Then look it up to three cards from the top of your deck and place them on the top or bottom of your deck in any order. Also insane that they're doing that with this. Um, this is the only reason I think this is going to be more of a rogue deck that's actually doing fairly well. Now, I don't think it's going to be the top meta deck or anything, but I think it'll be a fun rogue deck out there that could actually, you know, be putting pressure and making your opponents be like, why do you get to look at the top of your deck that much? Um... This Gul'dol also has unique. Uh, if your leader card is a Ginyu Force, so and you discard, yeah, so you discard this card from your hand. Look it up to the top three cards of your deck, place them in, uh, uh, in any order. So you can do that to set up for the Ginyu leader effect on the first turn you're attacking with him. That's actually kind of nuts. Activate main. Look it up to the top five, or look at up to five cards from the top of your deck, place them on top or bottom of your deck in any order. Even more insane that it's going to five cards, not even just three, five cards. That's crazy. That's crazy. Uh, we have another uh, one drop for your Frieza army right here, Dodoria Brimming with Power. Uh, kind of play if your leader card is a mono green and you have a green unison card in play. If the battle card being played has an energy cost two or less, it's played in its owner's drop area instead of being played. Um, then play this card. So, interesting. I don't think it's anything crazy, but uh, sets up something else with the Ginyu Unison. Also good with the new Frieza leader that is coming out. Uh, we'll get to that later in the video, but yeah, I think that's interesting. I like this card. It's another self-awakener we got. I'm surprised they did another green one that's a 10, or add one card from your life to your hand to get 10k power and double strike, since we literally just had one in Draftbox 5, but maybe it's because it was Draftbox 5 and they felt like we needed one in a main set. So we now have Dodoria, which is also good with the new Frieza leader, or with the Ginyu Unison. Or not Ginyu. Sorry. Uh, Bardock Unison. Uh, Zarbon Victory over Beauty. Negate the attack and play this card. Uh, also, should point this out, he is three specified green. Uh, when this card is played during your opponent's turn, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards, KO it, then choose up to one card in your opponent's hand and discard it. So I think it's good. 
yeah, it's a hefty cost, but I still think it's pretty solid. Um, I could see it seeing some play, maybe sideboard, maybe, I don't know, maybe someone throws it in the main board at, at like, two maximum. I Like I said, I like it. Um, it's not tied to a specific leader. I guess it works for blue-green pretty well. Um, maybe you see it in Piccolo Gohan. I, I could see this card seeing play, honestly. I, I do like it. I just don't know how much play it would see. Uh, just super combo for green leaders. Life set for a less draw card. Um, this new Frieza is interesting. If your opponent has three or more energy when this card is removed from a battle area, area, geez, I just stumbled over that really bad, uh, by a skill or KO'd, add up to one green extra card with energy cost of one or less from your drop area to your hand. So nice, he gets removed. You add a green extra card to your hand. Uh, activate main. It's just a free activate main from your hand. Place this card in its owner's drop area. Choose up to one. Oh, no, it's not from your hand. Oh, thank God. Uh, place this card in its owner's drop area. Choose up to one card in your opponent's hand and discard it. So thank God that's not just from your hand. Otherwise, that would have been nuts. Uh, you could have been doing that for free. So now he has to be on board, and then they discard a card. So not bad. Um, oh, I guess that does work. So he procs his own auto there. That's interesting. I didn't realize that. So you can add an extra card just by placing him in your drop area verse for his effect. Huh, I like that. Misread him before. Now I like him even more. Uh, if your opponent has three or more... So he has the exact same auto, um, but he has deflect and unique. Uh, he can gain 15k power and double strike for basically paying three energy. Two unspecified and then one specified green. Um, activate battle. So that's nice. Hey, 30k double strike. And if he stays on board, you know, that's going to hurt. Uh, this card has been a lot of hype for re people right now. It's very similar to Topo. It doesn't negate the attack, but you can KO uh, energy cost up to two. Yeah, to a total of two. Um, but basically, once you activate this, you can activate it for free if you have a green unison card in play. Um, but you activate it, and they only have one more attack. You have to discard one card, so that's why I'm saying it's like Topo. But... I think it might actually be a little oppressive. I think the one drawback is that your leader card has to be mono green. So they're tying it to being a mono green leader. So they're not making this effect really stupid like Broly Surge can use it or Piccolo Gohan can use it. No. Your leader card has to be mono green for this counterattack. So I, I think that's good that they at least did that. Um, I can actually see this card seeing play in the new Frieza leader deck. I'm very excited for that leader. I don't think it's going to be crazy, but I'm excited for it nonetheless. Um, Blue Impulse is interesting as well. It's actually pretty solid. Um, if your opponent played a battle card this turn, choose all of your opponent's battle cards and KO them. So if they play anything during your turn, you're just saying, you know what? I don't like the fact that you played anything this turn. Dead. So it just board wipes for either two energy or if you have a green unison card in play and your leader card is green. Uh, it could be for one energy. I think that's crazy. Uh, Dark Death Ball. It's okay. Uh, if you have a green unison card in play battle card being played as an energy cost four or less it's placed in the owner's drop area instead of being played then choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards with an energy cost of one and KO it so hey it could be for free if if all of your energy is mono green you can activate this card's counter skill from your hand without paying its energy cost by discarding uh two other cards in your hand and it can be for free it's a little taxing but like i said it can be for free so if you're tapped out you're desperate hey you, you at least have something i can see it being maybe a main board probably a sideboard I, i'm not a big fan of these cards because you're negging three from your hand essentially but i don't know maybe i'm underestimating it it's not terrible it's just not great in my opinion um and then one star ball parasitic darkness this essentially is going to be the combo with a frieza and frieza zeno card um so this card gains dark dragon ball in all areas interesting they're obviously doing stuff with dark dragon balls um i don't know if we're going to see all of them this set or they're going to continue it throughout all of the sets this block uh activate battle choose one of your battle cards or choose one of your cards one of your cards so it could be i guess it can't really matter on defense for a unison but you can use it offensively for your unison at least uh choose one of your cards it gets 5k power for the battle so not bad uh activate main choose one freezer card with an energy cost of four in your battle area so basically the one from this set is what they want you to use it with uh place it under uh place this card under it and then you play up to one green freezer zeno card in your deck and or your hand, sorry, or your hand, on top of it, and then it's played in active mode. So, not bad. That, that, that's for free, right? So, we like that. Anything for free is nice. Um, so, it's starter decks now. Uh, this is the leader I'm most hype about out of green, honestly. I wasn't expecting to be most hype uh, for uh, Frieza, not gonna lie. But, I actually do like his effects. 
So, Frieza is very hateful towards the uh, Sands, so you can't have any Sands in your deck. Um, that's okay. You don't need it. Um, his auto is choose one Frieza army card in your battle area, place it in its owner's drop area. So it's when he's attacking, you can do this effect. Um, your opponent chooses one card from their hand, discard it, and then you can add up to one card from your life to your hand. Um, so he has self-awakening that's built in. So you can either sit back and just keep attacking with leader only to make him discard some cards. Sure, they can be taking the damage from you attacking their leader. That's fine. You're making them stay at that hand size rather than them plussing from you hitting you. Or from you hitting them. Um, awaken when your life is at four or less. You may draw one card, then switch up to one of your energy to active mode and flip this card over. So I do like that he's a draw one on tap one. Uh, when this card attacks, draw one card. So, standard. Uh, activate main. So, instead of having to attack for his activate main on this side, you you don't have to attack at all. So, choose one freeze army card in your battle area, place it in its owner's drop area, uh, choose one card in your opponent's hand, discard it. So, you get to choose this time. That's pretty nice. Then choose up to, up to one of your green unison cards. So, if you don't have a target, that's okay. But, um, give it crit. And I think that's really nice. Um, obviously, if you're self-awakening, you're most likely attacking. I guess you can use the set 5 green freeze to where you don't have to attack, and then bam, you have some self-awakening in that aspect, but regardless, you want to take advantage of the fact that you're trying to make him discard whenever you're attacking. So, I don't know. He's got all sorts of options. Uh, I do like this Frieza Zeno. He has a nice combo for him. Um, but if he would take, or if he would lose a marker, you can place one card from your life in the drop. Activate main. Choose one card in your hand, discard it. Draw one card. So, there's a nice combo with the Dor the Doria out of this starter deck. I'll get to it. But um, I do like this card with this Frieza leader. Um, activate main. Choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and energy cost four or less and KO it. Then cho or choose up to one of their unison cards and remove a marker from it. So, either remove a marker or KO something that's four or less. Not bad. I like it. Uh, this card's okay. It's... It's very gimmicky with the leader, obviously, but when this card is played, you can give a leader card or a green unison card 10k power. Um, sure, that's not bad. You could use that with the Ginyu leader because that is another target, but you won't get this second auto, that is, if your leader card is a green Frieza card. When this card is placed in the drop area from a battle area by a skill, you may return this card to its owner's hand. So, play it, uh, I don't know, swing with it attack with your Frieza leader, or I guess it depends if you're awakened or not, but if you're not awakened, attack, uh, KO him, make him discard a card, and then he comes to hand. So that's nice, or obviously, other side, uh, attack with him, and then Frieza leader, activate main. So, I think it's gimmicky. I personally wouldn't run it with this leader, but hey, maybe some people will. It's not terrible, I just personally don't like it. All right, Zarbon. I, he's not bad. Uh, he's another card that looks at up to or looks at the top five of your deck. Uh, you can add up to one green unison card with a specified cost of two, or one green freeze army card with an energy cost of four or less from among them, and add it to your hand. So I guess if you're running more freeze oriented stuff, you would run the Zarbon compared to the main set uh, Bulma that would be looking for Saiyans. So depends on how you're running it. Um, he's not bad. Uh, another target for Bardock if you didn't want to run him with Bardock. Um, his activate battle is obviously a lot better with the green Frieza leader because it's pay one. If your leader card is a green Frieza card, you have a green unison card in play. You send this card from the drop area to the warp, choose one of your leader cards or unison cards, and it gets 10k power for the battle. It's not bad. You can use that for your leader card uh, on your opponent's turn, so that's always nice. It's just extra value for him in the drop area. Uh, Jadoria, this is the card that I like with the new uh, Zeno Frieza Unison. Uh, if your leader card is a green Frieza card and you have a green Unison card in play, if this card is placed in the drop area from your hand by a skill, you may play this card from your drop area. So basically you do the plus one on the Frieza Zeno, uh, discard this card, goes to the drop area, gets played out, activate the Frieza leader, whether you're awakened or not awakened, I don't know, um, make him discard a card. That's always nice. Uh, activate main if your leader card is a green Frieza card and you have a green unison card in play add this card from your drop area to your hand so you can keep recycling this sure yeah it does cost one green but you can keep recycling it for the Frieza Zeno to keep getting this combo off so you're not negging basically you're basically just playing this guy for free every time 
but I think that's nice. Um, I, I really want to run that combo mainly in the deck. I don't know what the rest of the deck's going to be so far. I'm thinking about running it mono green or green yellow. I, I'm not entirely sure yet. I got to start actually getting some brews together, but I, I think this leader will be pretty solid. So uh, look forward to seeing this guy out there. Um, hope you guys did enjoy the video today. Let me know what your favorite green card was out of the whole entire reveal. Um, personally, I think mine was this Frieza leader. I I actually do enjoy it. I wasn't expecting this. It brought something new to the table. Um, I like that it's just any Frieza army card, so that's why green, yellow, or you could even run it mono yellow. It really depends on how you want to run it. But um, I think green would be the best to run it with, of course. Um, yeah, so let me know what your favorite card was out of the set, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later!